the predator that just does not believe that Chris Hansen is actually Chris Hansen. The video is called, I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> So, let's watch this clown uh, get his life absolutely destroyed and cheer Chris Hansen on. This 32-year-old guy wants to spend a Sunday afternoon chilling with a 13-year-old girl. <sighs> Again, it, it, it's just, it's so horrible to hear that. As a, like, what the fuck is your issue? And I bet his excuse would be, no, I just came here to watch some football. Or um, just to hang out, or see if she was real. Oh my god. After texting her about getting stoned. Mmm, yeah, yeah, that, this, uh, <laughs> this is normal, yeah. 13 year old girl, let's get that uh, high together. But Mike Manzi's date is about to go up in smoke. I see what you did there, Chris Hansen. A funny guy. He's a math tutor. You heard it right. He teaches some of New York and Connecticut's wealthiest children how to solve complicated equations. Oh my god. He works with children. Oh, that is so f horribly scary. And yeah, I'm just actually going to a 13 year old girl to get stoned. Like, what? 32 plus 13 adds up to trouble. <laughs> <laughs> is that a comedian? Is Chris Hassan is this in this episode? Did you blaze? You're my soulmate. Wow, you are so cute. You are my soulmate. Oh yeah, I smoke weed. Well, that must mean we are soulmates. <laughs> you look way older, by the way. Oh, that, that makes it okay, I guess. He later appears to become suspicious and asks the decoy to send a custom pick with his name on it. The date is set. Send me this custom pick. So he called Forge in any way. And then they, they actually succeeded with it. He's like, yeah. That's my cue, baby. She's real. She's actually 13. Let's go, baby. Okay, my webcam is died. That's very embarrassing. I'll see you on in a little bit. Oh, do you mind if I just run around? I've seen this show called uh, To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen. So let me just take a gander around this house because there's so many curtains. Could I just peek behind them? And then we see Chris Hansen standing there like, take a seat, mister. He's just deranged in every way. And he's so worried about getting caught. But he wants to be with a 30 year old so bad. Like they're soulmates. Like who even says that? What Manzi doesn't know is that I am waiting for him right behind that curtain. Oh, yes, baby. Chris Hansen get his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> look at how happy the deco looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does not know what's in store for him. Look at how much he's smiling. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good. Why don't you have a seat right on that stool, please? Sure. <laughs> what? I, d I don't get it now, Chris has this. Yeah, uh, sit down there. And he is. I would love to take a seat for you. No, right here, sir. No, no, I, I know. Please, right there. I just wanted his glasses and phone. <laughs> is, is he going to make a run for it or something? I need to talk to you. Well, what are you doing? Oh, he, he refuses to sit down. He is. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get my butt tucks on this uh, chair. Best I can do, Chris. Best I can do. I wonder how they feel in this situation. Because they're obviously so deranged that can they even understand what they've done? Well, I'm I'm here because I was slightly concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they got a math shut on? Wait, you, you can't do square root or something negative. Okay, that's not important at all, but what the... I came here, Mr. Chris, because I, in fact, as your noble knight and citizen, was in fact concerned. So I took my advice from Reddit. They said, yes, go teach her a lesson. Tell her that she shouldn't do this and then leave. Now, why were you so concerned about a 13 year old girl? Well, well, she's talking to other people that are obviously the same age as me. And how old are you? I'm 32. <laughs> he's, he's just a, a concerned math tutor. I, I did not want to smoke weed, get a high together and do more things. You're 32. Yes. So you came over to make sure she was okay? Well, I came over just to make sure that... Everything was fine. Everything was okay. <laughs> I was not... So you were going to search the house just now to make sure... What? Well, I don't want her. Well, I mean, I don't know. That, 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 this might be one of the dumbest arguments ever. It's better when they just melt. Well, I, how is he going to explain away this? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to search the house. The fucking Navy SEAL Team 6 search all around the house just to check. Yeah, this room is clear. There's no predator here. There's no predator here. 30 year old girl, you're good to go. I can, she could come, she could be here with a group of people, for all I know. <laughs> In each and every one of these rooms, 
There's a predator. Let me fight them all. I was actually gonna. <laughs> there was actually my real intentions here because this house could be infested with predators. Today's lesson for me was to not worry about other people. <laughs> Oh, wh what I take away from this, going to this 13-year-old girl's house, is to not care about them. <laughs> what the fuck are you thinking? Don't trust other people because they can't set you up, because this is the 13-year-old girl's fault. What about smoking marijuana? Well, I mean, it's not really something that I try to tutor people in, but well, still. it seems like it from the chat here. <laughs> <laughs> you go, chat looks, fuck, 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 fuck. Like, he hides his panic with a <laughs> Look, may I please leave? Not I'm not... not okay. I have some more questions. <laughs> this is not kidnapping. I mean, he could just leave if he wanted to. Hence, again, he's obviously so dumb. Are there police outside or anything? I'll get to that. Please, sir, can you please just tell me? Because I really can't... Oh, I... I really can't go to jail. I mean, I, I was just concerned. It was... Oh my god, Chris. I, I really don't want to go to jail right now. I... I know I shouldn't have trusted this girl, but it, it is actually her that should go to jail, not I. For I, good sir, I'm just a humble, good Samaritan. I don't know what Samaritan means, but, but I think it fits in here. To smoke weed with a 13-year-old girl, and then whatever was going to happen was going to happen. Yeah. I forgot about it, but he, he literally said that they were soulmates. Like, brother in Christ, what does soulmates mean? Uh, Obviously, like she invited me in, and there were not. So you were just being a good Samaritan today. Well, I, I, yes, I knew I used that word right. So you're just being a good Samaritan. I see. I have a couple more questions for you. Though. I really don't want to answer any more questions, and I feel. Do you have <laughs> I, I I feel a little bit uncomfortable here. Could I could I just leave instead, please, please? What's I the lighter? For? A, I smoke cigarettes They're in my car. Chris is not remotely scared of this guy. This guy has walked up to Chris. And look at this. Do you have marijuana with you? No, I do not. <laughs> is it in your car? No, it is not. You got nothing else to do on a Sunday? I'm trying to watch, gonna watch football. Yeah, here with a 13 year old girl after you blade. I called it, I freaking called it. He was gonna watch football, of course, yes. That is so reasonable. Yeah, my, my TV is actually broken. It does not function. Not go to like a sports bar or anything. No, that does not exist here. Spend the day smoking pot with a 13 year old girl. But instead, he's spending it with me and the police. <laughs> There's something you need to know. Please. I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Is no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Wait, what? He, he obviously knows who Chris Hansen is, otherwise he wouldn't panic like this. Now nah, that's very funny. <laughs> Should we watch this? I'm Chris Hansen. No, you're not. Is I? No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Wait, they just teleported? No, you're not. Where the hell did the camera crew come from? <laughs> Be best oh, if you went out this door. No, because I'm gonna get arrested. I know it's gonna happen, sir. Uh, oh, I'm in trouble, but I was just coming here to to check so there is no predators here. Chris, you don't you have misunderstood everything. Oh my god, this is such a big misunderstanding. Say that to the judge, mister. I'm really not here for any malintent. I really can't. Please do not but look at the chat. I really just wanna I really just wanted to watch football. I'm gonna get arrested going that way. Yeah, Please, no, I can't. But do you think that if you exit through the front door, you're not gonna get arrested? Front door, not arrested. Garage door, you're going to jail. <laughs> that, what? There's obviously cops just gonna run out to fucking uh, drop kick him. Guys, oh, this is horrible. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. I came here to meet my soulmate, and then you guys were here to interrupt. This is a horrible situation that you guys have put me in. There's only one way out through the garage. I know, oh, I know. Turn around, put your hands on your back. Oh, please. Put your hands on your back. Follow the just follow the instructions, okay? Just calm down. Just follow the instructions. No, I can't. We'll I can't. No, no, just relax. Sure isn't being overly wobbly. Oh, you said. Uh, Look at this guy whipping out the fucking taser point blank on his back! Not resisting arrest. Holy shit! Overly cooperative. 
Listen closely. The cops tell Manzi they may have to pull out the taser. Kneel down. I'm gonna get what? You're gonna Kneel get down. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna get down. Oh. <laughs> now he stops arguing. I'm too intelligent to be arrested. Taser to back. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you win. You win. Please taste him. I beg of you. I want that with my whole entire heart. Taste his ass. No! Oh. I'm going to do some yoga later, lol. How's your downward dog? <laughs> What the f- Why did they bring him up, up this? Oh yeah, I just came here to- um... Okay, yeah, but that's a yoga move still. <laughs> oh, he's so delusional. But you don't understand, Mr. Copman. That, that is not sexual in any way. That is actually a yoga position. So that is your dirty brain saying that this has some sort of a bad intent. Like- <sighs> Criminal attempt to commit risk of injury to a minor. Please what? Just one- Nah. One charge for that? And got a suspended sentence of three years and was placed on probation. Oh my god. This is a Swedish sentence. I don't- I will not go into this- this type of topic, but there were once a guy who did some extremely horrible things. He was arrested for like eight months, and then his prison sentence was six months, even though it was so horrible, so he was- in, in jail for two months longer than it should be. So we got a hundred thousand dollars. But on that note, it is time to end this video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Much love. And I will see you in the next video again. Okay? Bye bye.